Can you dress a character in your film like a character from a previous film, sort of as an homage? Stick around. So Joss wrote in with a question. He says, I'm shooting a movie and one of the characters loves and thinks he's living in the 80s and he wears 80s clothes. There's a scene where he wears the same type of clothes as a main character from a major, major 80s feature film and he drives the same kind of unusual car that features prominently in that film. But the storyline is different. He's a detective and he's chasing criminals. Will this be a problem or require any special attention? Well, Joss, this does raise some interesting issues. It sounds like your costuming and giving your character the same car as that character from the 80s film is what we'd call an homage to that film or to that character. And maybe it's a little bit critical of or commenting on or snarky about that original film or the character. And if that's the case, your use might qualify as parody, which falls under the fair use defense to claims of copyright infringement. Now, wardrobe designs can be protected by copyright, and in most cases, the production company responsible for a film will own the copyrights to the work product of the designers whom they've hired for the project. But copyright only protects the original elements of the designs. So knowing the particular character in question that you're talking about, and knowing that in that movie he wears basically jeans and sneakers and a jacket and a ball cap, I have doubts that there's much to worry about there, unless those articles of clothing also have some of the special features that the wardrobe in the movie demonstrate on screen. Now, technically, the car design could also enjoy a degree of copyright protection, but again, that's pretty limited. Um, so to be a parody, the use of material needs to be aimed at poking fun, criticizing, or raising issues about the original thing. So how much, uh, goes on here, that it's going to depend on how things are portrayed in your film. If the character is merely wearing the clothes and drives the car, but those elements don't otherwise figure into the storyline, then I think there's a good chance that the project is on solid ground. But listen, there is no substitute to a proper review by an entertainment lawyer that you've hired to evaluate the situation by looking at what we attorneys call the totality of the circumstances. You really don't want to rely on answers from the Oracle of YouTube or from the Internetopedia for this kind of thing, since the risks can lead to very, very expensive consequences. So before you shoot, the best thing I can say is get your lawyer involved to give you a quick review. It shouldn't take a long time or cost a lot of money. Now, if you've got a question for Asked and Answered, head on over to firemarket.com questions and get it to me, and I'll see you again really soon.